Hi, my name's David Finger here at Fortinet, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about email attacks and email security. Now, this is a pretty critical problem, in my opinion, facing most organizations. According to Verizon, 92.4% of all malware, and in fact, 49% of installed malware, was delivered via email. And these can be very costly attacks. According to the FBI, business email compromise, which is just one class of email attack, cost businesses in the U.S. approximately $1.6 billion. And even if you're not in the U.S., actually, you don't get a pass. If you're outside the U.S., it cost you or exposed you to roughly $1.7 billion in potential loss related to business email compromise. Now, nobody likes to lose money, but it actually goes further than that. Earlier in the year, the U.S. Department of Justice actually filed suit against one cyber criminal organization for one spear phishing attack that hit roughly 300 universities and businesses all around the world and stole an estimated 3.1 terabytes of data that cost those organizations roughly $3.4 billion to procure. So addressing the risk of email threats is particularly important, in my opinion, to organizations today. And leading analysts actually recommend a handful of core technologies that are newer in nature to deal with this type of threat. So for advanced attachment-based threats, they recommend Sandbox, Content Disarm and Reconstruction. For advanced URL-based threats, they recommend address rewriting and time of click protection. For that business email compromise problem we talked about before, it's sender authentication, impersonation analysis, and some other techniques. So these are very important defenses to have in place for all organizations. The reality is, though, it's a very tough challenge for these organizations because email attacks can be quite sophisticated. Right? It's not just an email with a payload. Attacks come from a range of senders with a variety of messages that contain different payloads and links that can all be easily changed. They'll reach out in many times for command and control infrastructure to get more instructions about what to do, which might include downloading malware, going out to other sites to download malware, and ultimately, once data has been found, exfiltrate it to the cyber criminal. So these are very sophisticated attacks that are tough to stop. And, and frankly, given so many different components, it's quite easy for the cyber criminal to change up just one piece to try and get through the defense, right? You can change the sender. You can change the message. You can swap out a different payload or a link. Change your infrastructure. And just the sheer numbers work in the favor of the attacker. And so our customers are in the unenviable position where they need to be 100% perfect or the cyber criminal is one because even if they're 99 or 99.9% .9 effective in their defense, that means that the 100th time or the 1,000th time, actually the cyber criminal is successful in compromising their organization. So it's a very tough job facing organizations wanting to deal with these email attacks. However, the good news is if we think back to that sandbox, which is a recommended technology to deal with advanced threats, right? The nice thing about the sandbox is not only will it detect the individual attack, but if you've got one from Fortinet, for example, that sees this full life cycle of the threat and creates intelligence that can be dynamically shared throughout your security infrastructure, now you can change that balance of power. Because now if you think back to what that cyber criminal is doing and just changing one component, well, all these others are known and through that sharing, fabric enabled email security using your sandbox to share intelligence can actually detect those new threats, right, and keep you protected. So now, if you think back to that 99.9%, .9%, if the cyber criminal only changes 99.9% .9 of their attacks, but keeps one the same, right, then the cyber criminal loses and our customer wins. So it's a very powerful notion of this fabric enabled email security and this sharing of intelligence across the security fabric that fundamentally changes the dynamics and the balance of power in terms of cyber attack and cyber defense in favor of our customers. So thanks so much for your time today, and I look forward to more questions and speaking with all of you as we go forward.